Namaste beautiful humans and welcome back to another edition of Meandering Yogi and in today's video um, it's going to be another cobalt video yeah uh, I got my three-year-old mower my three-year-old batteries and what I'm going to do I just I'm going to we, the wife and I went on vacation for a couple weeks and I've got some tall grass I'm dealing with here I usually keep the grass about two to three inches um, but here I've got, you know, I'll take the tape and look, but we're, we're looking at some of this stuff is probably 12 inches, all this taller stuff. And then the, the normal grass blades are probably about five or six inches. Um, so anyway, it's tall and it's wet. Yeah. So I'm going to put a fully charged uh, 5.0 amp hours at AH. So it's the bigger 40, uh, 40 volt battery. I'm going to put one of those in. And again, my batteries are three years old. Uh, if you haven't watched my videos before, I've done a couple other uh, videos on the cobalt system. I've got the mower, the blower, and the weed eater. Um, there's a couple other videos. One, I did a three-year review on uh, the products when I mowed this, and I mowed this whole yard when I started mowing this yard. Uh, that I'll link below as well in case you want to see that. Um, and then I've got a video on how to string that weed eater because a lot of people are asking me how to string that weed eater. But one of the other questions I was always asked is, how well does this mower work when the grass is tall? Well, I couldn't answer that question very well because generally I always keep my grass cut short uh, just to keep the upkeep of the mower, you know what I mean? Just so that the mower is not being abused in, by doing uh, too tall of grass. But uh, anyway, so today, real quick, I'm gonna see how long this battery will stay charged so you guys know how long this battery will stay charged in this kind of a circumstance. So I've got a tall grass, a wet grass, uh, one, uh, I've got one, I've, all my batteries are charged up, but I wanna see how, how long one battery will take us through using the self-propelled, okay? I'm gonna, for this video, in this video only, because I generally never use that self-propelled system, but I wanna see for you all and myself how long we can mow on this 5.0 battery, fully charged, three years old, wet, tall grass, yeah? So let's do it, let's go make a video, it'll be a quick video, I'm just gonna mow just enough to see how long this will go, and I'll let you know time-wise how much I got out of this, yeah? And plus the video will show me doing it as well. Much love and respect, let's go do a video. All right, guys, uh, real quick, I just wanted to show you right here. You've got uh, one inch, two inch, three inch. I've got it set on three inches, yeah? And you can see how close that is riding the ground down here, yeah? And what we're dealing with as far as how tall the grass is. All right, gang, so we're getting ready to start. I'm gonna show you right here on the, on the clock. It is 10.18. So by 10.20, I should be moving just fine. I gotta set my little Spotify radio up here. If you see me dancing while I'm mowing, you'll know why I'm listening to music. All right, let's get this thing started. All right, guys, so it is hot. All right, uh, we are back. The time is, you can see that, there you go, 1044. So, 1044, uh, what's that, about a half hour? A little over a half hour, I think we started about 20 after. Uh, to be honest with you, I kind of expected about 45 minutes out of it, runtime. Um, 
simply because I know I can get about an hour and 20 minutes or something with uh, when I'm not using the uh, self-propelled part of the mower. Um, so I got a little over a half hour out of it using the self-propelled and that's mowing what you saw there that's you know pretty tall grass. Uh, anywho, uh, quite surprised myself really. Um, like I said, the battery's three years old, so I guess I should expect, uh, you know, uh, not as good as it would be if it was new. Um, but to let you see what we got done, uh, and this is a huge yard, so just keep that in mind. But uh, all that there is all done, all the way over, and over to where the lawnmower is sitting, uh, over here. And again, you know, even coming up on the mower, uh, you can see the difference in the grass. So here you can see what it looks like at the edge of the cut line. Yeah. So this is uh, this is all the nice laid down cut grass. And then you can see what I was dealing with as far as uh, what I was cutting. All right, gang. So there you have it. Uh, we got about a half hour out of it. Um, and that was, you know, using that self-propelled system. With tech. Like I said, I really didn't have an idea myself. I hadn't use that self propel like that before um, I usually don't use it at all uh, but so it's good to know good for me to know and hopefully it, it helped anybody that might have had any uh, had any questions about how long you, it would last in a tall grass situation now you know and I know as well um, like I said I did expect about another 10 minutes out of it but I'm not dissatisfied cobalt products have done me great my battery is three years old so I can't really complain not at all um, plus the grass was tall and damp so uh, I got two other three other videos guys that will be linked underneath here um, the one it's a complete review on the three products I have the weed eater the blower and the mower uh, and then there's one that's just a weed eater me stringing that weed eater teaching you how to string the weed eater and then the third one I did was uh, questions that, I'm, that are commonly asked about these batteries as far as how well they are, how well they last. I'll link all three of those below if you wanna see any of those. Thank you so much for your time. Please hit the like button if you liked anything in this video. If you got something from it, that pushes it forward to another so somebody else can see it as well. Uh, and think about subscribing, I would very much appreciate it. And that's it for me guys. Much love and respect. Thank you.